Grand Rising Soul Family. It's Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general collective energy read for the Divine Masculine Collective. This is not going to resonate for every Divine Masculine. But how is everybody doing this morning? I pray that you're doing well. You're enjoying this beautiful day. It is amazing out here. It feels rich. I don't know. It just feels beautiful today with all this green, the lushness of it. Like I'm just seeing deers all over the place. There was a young buck that walked through here yesterday. Just gorgeous. Family, y'all know time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationship. This is a Divine Masculine reading. Family, anytime you are guided to any of the three channels that I operate, you can find those in the About section on the YouTube channel. Um, it was time for you to receive the messages. If for whatever reason the messages don't resonate, come back at a later date, family, and maybe I'll have something that will. Also, if it doesn't resonate for you still, and you know someone else, that this is their story, send them here so they can receive the messages. Also, family, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. This also helps get more messages out to those who are in need of the messages, okay? Family, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, old and new. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are new, welcome, family. Welcome in. All right. Let's get started. Family, y'all know I cuss when I channel and um, when I'm talking. So if this offends anybody, I'm truly not your reader. Okay? We have judgment at the bottom of the deck for the Divine Masculine. And this is due to hurting a lot of you, Divine Feminines. And this was in divine timing that this was to take place. In order for your divine counterpart to connect to higher love. For some of you, your divine masculine wants to reconcile. To reconcile. They may be in counseling right now at this present time. In the process behind a major betrayal. Ultimate betrayal. This person is unsure about how to end something in order for their ships to come in with their ultimate person. And this is a divine connection. You see the yin and yang above the two. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, someone that you may have worked with in the past, you may have collaborated with as well. This person could have put you in an imbalanced situation. And now they wanna take some level of action to take a leap of faith towards you where they left you alone with all of these ten cups in your heart. Your person could be manifesting you, but you could be very stubborn about accepting that apology. But there's been a tower moment here in this situation, family. Somebody here may have been using some level of black magic here to sacrifice somebody. And the ultimate... Interesting. Let's go ahead, family, and get started. Yeah, I just split the deck on the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from a very painful, painful situation. You could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. North Node or South Node. Something's coming down, family. During the Lion's Gate, it keeps showing up in my own cards, so I'm going to pull them eventually. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have about the Divine Masculine? What is going on with the Divine Masculine, male or female, at this present time? Mm -mm. Wanting a brand new beginning, a passionate creative new begin beginning. Some of you... You could be fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they got their eye on you. They want commitment. Some of them possibly could even want marriage after betraying you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, energy for the Hierophant. They see you as single, male or female, single, stable, and abundant. You looking real motherfucking good. What else, Holy Spirit, can you tell me about the Divine Masculine? And what does he want with his divine feminines? 
What do they want with us now? Oh, they're coming out in threes. So some of you could be seeing 333 or 66. 333, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. You're going to need to use your intuition, Pisces, Cancer, in energy, almost said Scorpio, about your King of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or someone that has been married in a commitment. They could have children. This person could be heavily focused on their finances right now, but something is taking place where this person has been hurt, deeply wounded, possibly in a marriage or a commitment, because it's right below the Hierophant. This person could have been like a cult leader. They could have kept a lot of secrets. Pisces Cancer Energy. This person could have been very dishonest, very distrustworthy. This person also could have kept a secret mistress, someone that you didn't know about, or they could have kept hidden from you that they were married or in another commitment. For some of you, this person walked right out of one relationship and right into another one, right underneath your nose the whole time they were dating and fucking you. Now, they're going through some level of judgment for heartbreak, and they do want to come in and reconcile. Look at this, three third party situation Pisces cancer so now that somebody puts you in a third party situation they want to reconcile and this deck is only two people in this card so you could definitely be dealing with a water sign that could secretly want to reconcile with you what else Holy Spirit can you tell me about what the divine masculine wants with this divine femme male or female they see you as their equal. I got counterparts on the board. Divine masculine, divine feminine in the house. King and queen of pentacles. If this isn't you, then this was the person that he was married to or in a long-term commitment. They could be trying to hold back because they need to go get counseling for their toxic behavior. Right in here. Look close, family. Mm-hmm. You could have been dealing with somebody that had some addictions, baby. What else, Holy Spirit, does the Divine Masculine want with the Divine Feminine? A lot of you are looking future forward. You're thinking about other things as well as your stability. Something very, very destined and fated is happening right now to the Divine Masculine. And this is involving past lives. This is also involving reconciliation. He wants his divine counterpart. He wants the ultimate soulmate. That is you. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Something that is very destined and fated to happen. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody that is very loving, very nurturing. Y'all cards are coming out in threes. Y'all definitely seeing 333. Three, three. You're going to need to stand in your power for this one, baby. This person knows that destiny sends them back in to temper, heal, and balance and restore this relationship, this union. It's all coming right down here up underneath the Hierophant. There was a hell of a Saturnian lesson that your person had to learn. They're under judgment divine judgment Sagittarian energy Aries Leo Sagittarius for the ten of wands this person struck a match and that match let their whole damn life up this shit is in ruins you see this shit and they trapped in that fire of judgment hellfire I don't believe in hellfire but that's what it looked like <laughs> And this person is going through a completion of a cycle. They could definitely want a new beginning. A lot of you are in your high priestess energies. And you have a new beginning. And I think your uh, divine counterpart wants a piece of that new beginning with you. Which just slid off of my desk. Some of you could definitely be dealing with cardinals. Um, Cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. 
You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through, tur through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. This slid right off my desk. <laughs> I'm not going to even comment. I'm going to leave it like it is. Your divine counterpart has unconditional love for you. They want to give and receive affection from you, family. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for the Divine Masculine? What does he want with the Divine Feminine? Is it genuine? What is his intentions, Holy Spirit? Girl with a snake, guy with a snake, empath, nart, paradigm. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What is the Divine Masculine's intentions with this new beginning? Needs to get rid of that outdated thinking. That's another one. Your divine masculine is attempting to ascend. See? Girl with a snake. Guy with a snake. Y'all were dealing with a narc. Tell me about this hierophant. What is his intentions with the divine feminine and the hierophant? to keep you stuck in a situation where he has multiple options on a ring. This is what he has done in the past. He could be taking the risk to step outside of his or her comfort zone of having multiple options, unconventional relationship. This separation has been heartbreaking. And he ain't talking about yours. We talking about that karmic relationship that they just got that katie kaboom tell me about the high priestess and the divine masculine he is being divinely guided to make or she to make healthier choices and to follow their abundance to manifest so they could be trying to manifest and call you back in they see you as paradise the ultimate paradise Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is he here? And what does he want with the Divine Femme, male or female? Security, stability. Either he wants security and stability or he's offering it. Yeah, I'm feeling more like he is looking for stability and security because his shit done burnt. Or hers. They're focusing on their self-worth. They need to. And do some shadow work. That's for sure. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. And the snake. Some of y'all were dealing with a Leo moon. This person likes to... Uh-huh. I knew it. And I couldn't even get it out of my mouth fast enough. This person likes booty calls. Mm-hmm. So expect a booty call. Mm-hmm. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but a Leo. They may have Leo Moon in their chart somewhere. This person may want to come over and have a drink. But they need to do some inner childhood healing. Tell me about the judgment, Holy Spirit. Why is the judgment here for the divine masculine towards? Mm-hmm. Their karma is getting to look at your photographs and miss you having nostalgia and want to make new memories but there's an ending here and endings bring new beginnings who is this queen of pentacles holy spirit and why is she here in the divine masculine's reading Ooh. somebody that is not in addictions and somebody that does not want to sit down and talk to the divine masculine so divine feminines i could feel like that's y'all strongly male or female you just want to move forward happily, moving single, hanging out with your girlfriends or your guy friends, and just living in the moment and having fun. Yeah, this is the fate and this is the karma for the runner now wanting to give you love. It fell on the wheel of fortune. That outdated thinking, I told you, it's got to go. Tell me about the temperance, Holy Spirit, for the divine masculine. Why is it here? Yeah, they want to heal, temper, and balance this relationship and restore it in order to bring in and offer you an engagement ring. But they need to do some shadow work, boo. 
Y'all might need to stand back and let them get this. Yeah, <laughs> they got the hammer all right. It's called Saturn, the Lord of Karma. The Lord of Karma hammered that ass for not doing the right thing. <laughs> and now this person is heartbroken. Oh, Lord have mercy. They're mourning and they're grieving the loss of that karmic relationship. They could have even gave that karmic uh, an engagement or even possibly married one of those karmics. Because they had at least three. And they were wearing a mask. Everybody was wearing a mask. God, so be more careful. Tell me about the world and why is it here for the divine masculine towards the divine fem? Yeah, they want to put an end to this outdated thinking. And keep replaying events over and over in their head. But they definitely have unconditional love. And they do want to offer you the Ace of Cups. I have it here, poking out here on this deck, right up underneath these several cards. So your Divine Masculine wants to reconcile, but they're unsure because of how they treated you. And they know you they left you stuck and trapped in your head. And this, yes, because of another soulmate. And now they want to offer you love. But is this person single? Because on this one, it's a single man as the Ten of Pentacles. So, male or female, is your person single this time? Are they prepared to give you the truth this time about them being a player towards their divine feminine? Male or female, you sure about that? And here's the Ace of Cups in this mini deck right there. But they scared to come towards you. Some of them think you got options and that you're going to move forward towards your happiness with those new options so let's see what else is going on here i see union but they got to take some level of action and communicate to you but they could still be coming in as a page tell me about the ace of wands and not ascending for the divine masculine collective male or female holy spirit why is it here look at this they want union now they want union. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I, I can't make this shit up. They want union. That's at the bottom of the deck, family. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini or a fire sign. Strong fire here. Maybe you both have uh, fire in your chart. Tell me about the Hierophant and keys on the ring. So somebody likes to be unfaithful in relationships. Your divine counterpart has been very unfaithful in relationships. And they're still unsure about what to do, how to come in how to bring you this but they're definitely lurking you could be dealing with a taurus gemini libra aquarius strong air energy tell me about the three of swords and separation holy spirit yeah there's a cycle that's ending separation and a long-term commitment a marriage a relationship Tell me about the high priestess, abundance, and healthy choices. This is you, divine feminine. Male or female, high priest or high priest. Because I got, damn, I got both of y'all on the board. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just realized I got the hierophant and the high priest. The spiritual connection is here. They could be confused or you could be confused or unsure anymore about this offer of divine love. You know your, your worth. You are the empress, emperor, male or female. Tell me about the king of pentacles. Very loving, very nurturing, very creative. Some of you could even be pregnant. I just heard somebody in your divine masculine don't even know who the damn father of the baby is. Shit. Or shat, as my cousin would say. Yeah, this king of pentacles... Uh, this Ten of Pentacles done crashed and burned on the Phoenix. And now their, uh, their security and their stability is all gone. Katie, kaboom! And now they want to come in and give you some hot, passionate sex and a new beginning. But this person is still coming in as a page. Fuck that shit. And they still showing up as a page. Page of Cups. This person is shy about offering you this love offer. And they could already have somebody damn pregnant and they ain't told you about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something that they got seduced into, it hurt like hell. Somebody chewed on that ass for a minute. Mm-hmm. 
now they may have retreated and ghosted that situation and gone within you could be dealing with strong earth pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius sagittarius um the hermit is virgo and the nine of pentacles this person could have gotten ghosted or ghosted someone to become single tell me about the judgment in the photograph here for the divine masculine collective holy spirit Ooh, they have no new beginning sit your ass down and heal i command it <laughs> that's what you manifested no new beginning tell me about the queen of pentacles and the coffee and addiction in the reverse sit your manipulative ass down somewhere and have a few seats that's your justice and you getting justice divine fans for the injustice that your divine masculine decree archangel michael is here to help assist to heal restore and temper and balance this situation Libra energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarian on temp on the temperance. The King of Pentacles is going through some type of karma. And they want to come in still as a page. This is some bullshit. They only focused on finances. So they're looking for stability, y'all. Y'all better be careful. Some of these damn divine masculines, they act like karmic masculines. Tell me about the engagement ring and the temperance. Some of them think that they're going to get a victory just because they offer you this ring. Aries, energy, Sagittarian energy, but y'all going to knuck and buck, argue and fight. Conflict, chaos, drama, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Hammer. Yeah, Hammer time, all right. Hammer time. Yes, for sabotage. Karma for sabotage. The Lord of Karma is here. And yo shit you got to walk away pisces cancer scorpio gemini libra aquarius that's your karma you got to walk away take your ass and go sit it down and go heal divine masculine then maybe come back maybe we'll talk about it then i don't know the world and the cassette now somebody gotta wait because they ain't got no money their finances is being blocked everything is being blocked they got to wait but it's ten of cups. Love. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with an earth sign with water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is a whole hot mess. Give me some love messages, Holy Spirit, for the Divine Masculine Collective. Getting to know each other. Now they want to get to know you. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deep deepens. But there again... There could be some needing to heal from um, your parents. Both of you may have to forgive your parents about something and free yourselves. It's time for them to free themselves from something that has been hella toxic in their life. Even though the devil didn't show up. Calling in your soulmate. Didn't I tell you they were trying to call you in? Divine said they are worth waiting for though. And you know why they're worth waiting for. So don't come in here and be acting up fam. Tell me some messages, Holy Spirit, from my angels. Passion. Archangel and Haniel is saying, trust and follow your renewed passion in your life, in your love life and career. So this is a universal message to the divine collective, period. Peace. Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from only remembering love is real. And Spirit is also reminding all of us, universal message. To eat healthier, to live healthier. And I ask y'all every morning, most of the time when I start, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, exercise regularly for optimal health. I ask y'all that all the time. So, you know, I do a check-in whether you respond or not. Health and, health and healing, I'm telling you. Archangel Michael and Hilarion, the Ascended Master, is talking about health and healing. So a lot of you still need to heal and your Divine Masculine... He need to get his priorities in order. He ain't listening to his ascended master Solomon. But Archangel Michael is telling him he can do it. He or she can do it. Yep. Some of them have healing issues. They got daddy issues, male or female. They need to heal with father, husband, brother, or son. And son or son. Doesn't matter. Surrender. 
Surrender to this union, to the divine connection. I release my need to control. So your divine counterparts still thought they had control of this whole situation. You finding out that you don't. Surrender came right back out. And there is a lot of grief. We mentioned this. I understand that losing someone is an opportunity to appreciate it. So they feel like they have lost you, Divine Femmes. Happiness. I am aware that being, hap that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So they need to get on the right path and have courage. I find the inner straight strength to face the fear with confidence and peace. This is the second time from two different decks about peace and honoring it. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have from this deck for the Divine Masculine Collective? Two of them fell in my lap. Ah, uh, snap. They want regeneration. 46 becomes 10. They want a new beginning after a lot of grief. They see you as a treasure. And whatever treasure that they were carrying is gone. Nines are about completion. They want big, happy changes. Divine feminine, stay poised. Stay on your throne, male or female. Observer and do exactly that. Observe and listen. And this, re this relationship is blessed. 22, it becomes four. But you know what? Your person got to go clean it up. <laughs> they got to clean their shit up before they can come in. They can't come to you like this. All messed up. Need to get their head space checked. But spirit is telling them to have trust. And that, that trust means faith. So some of them need to have faith in order to have success. It's divine feminines, universal message. Perfect timing. Just trust the process. Messages, Holy Spirit, for the divine masculines. What do they need to learn about relationships? This should be good. Mm. Grace is one. What do they need to learn about relationships, Holy Spirit? Honesty. What else? What else, Holy Spirit? They need to learn grace, honesty, and sensuality the right way. Because some of them have been just purely sexual, male or female. Anything else that we need to learn about the Divine Masculine Collective, male or female, Holy Spirit. Wisdom. They need to go acquire some wisdom some damn where. And stop projecting. They need to stop projecting their negative toxic behaviors on others. Emotions are a necessary part of, a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Divine Feminines, this is a message for you, and this is a message for the Divine Masculine. Universal message for the collective. Forgiveness is also for the collective as well. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I'm going to take that. And this is your soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Transformation. The re your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all. Remember, only love is real. And healing. Imagine yourself and your loved one, your beloved, surrounded by light. Feel your relationships being healed this very moment, collective. Sexual union. Damn. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Oh my God. And only time will tell. This is divine timing. What's in the back? Power. 
You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Because when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love. A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Your Divine Masculine. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to, to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Again, surrender is here from a whole nother deck. At times we must surrender the old before the new Something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Y'all might want to start nurturing the bonds of friendship first. But this has been a short, quick reading for the Divine Masculine Collective. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share with your family, friends, and co-workers. Divine Feminines, what do I have for you? Since you're showing up in the Divine Masculine's reading. Transformation. Somebody here is going through a transformation in order to have this union. I cannot make this up. Holy Spirit, I love you. I absolutely love you. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I cannot find a better life coach on the planet than my divine spirit. Transformation brings union. Beautiful. Closing to the message. And you are seeing synchronicities. And you, some of you will receive a message from your divine counterpart very soon. There he is. Messages. Messages from the divine masculine. See it? And they have memories, so they are definitely thinking about you, male or female. All right, family. 